All right. Daredevil Fall from Grace, chapter five and six. Woo, the finale. It's coming down to this. It's almost over. We get resolution on like everything. And, oh, and enter more players. We now have vampires entering. And resolution on some stuff. It's going to be good. Snow Yetis, Ninja Snow Yetis. We know what they are now. You, let, let's dive in. Welcome back to Long Box Diving, where we explore comics and story arcs pulled from the Long Box. Now, we're going to finish with the review of Daredevil's Fall from Grace with chapters 5 and chapter 6, issue 324 and 325. So, this, is, uh, this has been an interesting series so far. It's been really good, and we're finally at the finale, and let's finish this thing up. So, we open chapter 5 with a rundown of Daredevil and Electra's relationship and kind of a past memory of what happened together. They were together in college, how they dated, um, how when her dad was killed and they ended up going their separate ways and then they ended up becoming adversaries in New York and they ended up fighting each other. Um, then we see that Electra was murdered and Daredevil was just like heartbroken, so torn up about it that he actually tried to perform the resurrection ritual. Now, I did not know that um, Daredevil could actually perform said rituals of any sort um like ninja rituals but he tried it which was cool now there was a guy there his name was shadow warrior stone didn't think that daredevil could do it and he was getting ready to to just like finish off electric but then he noticed that whatever daredevil had done it actually purified electra's heart and he knocked daredevil out and when daredevil came to shadow warrior stone was gone and electra's body was gone and daredevil's left wondering what happened? Where's her body? Is she really dead? I did it. Where I he he doesn't know. So now we're back into New York, um, and Daredevil is fighting hand to hand with ninjas, um, the Hand Ninjas. Now there's another ninja there called Ninja Stone of the Chaste. Now I don't know if this, this is the same dude, but he's dressed all in white, which makes me wonder if he's one of the Ninja Yetis. Maybe. Now Morbius um, is there also, and he's trying to kill the Hand for food for blood. Um, and of course, Morbius only attacks bad guys. And that's his MO, I need to feed. Um, and since I have to feed on somebody, it might as well be um, bad character. So he's, he's got at least a moral code there, right? So, and then we see a funny picture where Morbius actually tries to battle uh, Ninja Stone and actually tries to bite him. And he couldn't even break his skin. And that was funny. I was like, <laughs> um, so Daredevil is able to finally calm um, Morbius down. Um, and with Stone, they end up going back out to Morbius' lab. Now, we then flip over, we see Snake Root practicing all the different ninjas that are involved in Snake Root. Now, I think I've been calling them Shadow Root. It's actually Snake Root. I'm sorry, I apologize. Here's a correction. So, they're actually kind of practicing in this big open arena, arena and we see the general there, and they're actually interrogating Eddie, and they're trying to figure out what he did with that vial way back in 1960s, and where is it hidden? So, Morbius, now back over to Morbius, Morbius actually decides to test something in his lab. Of course, he's a geneticist in a way. He works with blood. He was trying to figure out how to cure himself from, of another blood disease and ended up becoming a vampire, um, which is kind of his backstory. So he was looking at the virus and actually realized, oh, this thing can actually heal me. So now we have a yet another character or person after this virus, and now it happens to be a vampire. Why not? Cyborgs, vampires, and Gietis, um, demons everybody's after this thing so daredevil got him hey please don't get involved let me get this fit let me get it taken care of don't get involved it's the last thing we need um and we as we know that's worked wonderful up to this point with other people you know having him not get involved yeah. but and morbius kind of takes the newspaper and goes here let me move this close so you can read it i know it's kind of dark in here i think i don't know does morbius know that daredevil is blind this if anybody can tell me let me know in the comments below and he actually reads the headline and says, Matt Murdock is Daredevil. And that's not good news. So Matt then meets with Ben Urich, which is the newspaper reporter that we saw who had been robbed in the previous chapters. And he says, hey, you've got to fix this because you're the only person that knew. And you've got, this only could have come from you. You've got to fix this. And he said, Ben Urich said, hey, listen, Sarah Harrington is an intern girl that was working for me. She broke into my files. She hacked the system. Like she's got everything. There's not a lot I can do to actually pull this story back. 
So the news goes out and they end up gathering around Matt Murdock's apartment. Um, and Matt actually sneaks into his own apartment to actually blind proof it. Because honestly, he doesn't really, you know, he's blind. He really doesn't need his apartment blind proof. But if they were to go in and find it not blind proof, they may actually think he's not blind and therefore believe he's more likely to believe he's Daredevil. It, very cool little tidbit. Didn't really have much impact on the story overall other than making Sarah look like a fool. But it was cool. Now, look at these, this panel. You actually foggy in Karen's faces, and it makes me almost think this was done by somebody other than the normal artist on the series because I've had a problem with the artist's drawing of faces up close, but this one actually looks pretty good. Not bad. You see Daredevil and Stone, um, Ninja Stone, actually break into a tug graveyard, and then they get attacked by Aaron... Arians. Now, I have a hard time pronouncing this. Irinians, Irinians, and Garrett. I think okay, that's that's a basically evil Electra. So from now on, I'm going to call her evil Electra because I, I you know, it, it's easier to pronounce evil Electra. So Stone says that uh, that everything's good. And they get in there, and and Stone says something area that, that Garrett's shooting all this kind of stuff, and he goes get behind me because. My body is a shield against any threat that I'm aware of. Now, I think that's a pretty cool power there. As long as he's aware, he can't be harmed. Interesting, interesting thing. So that's a cool part of the story. We now we see another. We see this awesome panel where Evil Electra does this leg sweep and Daredevil jumping over it, and and then we see um, Evil Electra stab Stone in the back because he was unaware. Um, and then we see another character enter, and this other character is. Bum -bum. Evil Electra. No, just kidding. It's the real Electra, all dressed in white, and she is bald, completely bald with a bandana thing. And she, uh, now, she is the Snow Yeti. I'm pretty sure now, back in that first couple issues where they're sitting on the mountain and she grabs the sigh, this is one of them. And she says later, I shouldn't have come down from the mountain, but that kind of helps seal it but she is the ninja yeti she's one of the ninja yetis i'm pretty so sure stone of the chase is the uh, is another ninja yeti and they both came down from the mountain to help uh, to figure out what the snake group was about and to actually stop evil electra so in chapter six we actually get a nice another rundown um of all the players involved in this thing we have snake group so all these hand ninjas we have general concoy who is this evil disgraced uh, evil military scientist we have eddie passam and his murdered girlfriend in his brain because she's got like the psychic essence is still going on in his head, Teresa. We have Arian, um, which is evil Electra. We have Morbius, which is a vampire. And we have Hellspawn, which is a demon. Uh, Siege is also in there. Um, not in this panel, but Siege is involved in here. We actually see him later. Um, and it's like the last time we actually see him. I have a, uh, we'll, we'll get to that. So there's a, this great page um, of Electra and Daredevil fighting Hellspawn very cool looking thing and then we get this page where daredevil's like circling he's got a stick and and hellspawn is invisible to daredevil in a sense of his senses he can't he can only listen to him or smell him in some way but he can't radar him and it's really cool then we see they they, they beat hellspawn and they head down into the sewers to actually look for the virus they they're pretty sure it's down there somewhere we get back and we're at with sarah harrington and ben and a bunch of the cops actually burnt go into Matt Murdock's apartment and everything's cushioned. There's foam things are wrapped around the corners and and there's a braille map. I mean, uh, and they're like, they're looking at her like, I thought you said he was, dare, you know, daredevil. He's obviously blind. Um, it made her really look like a fool and she gets pissed off. But back to the sewer, um, Snake Root is gathering also in the sewer to hunt the virus. Now, things are really starting to pick up at this point and they'll start speeding up and going kind of crazy here. Ben then reports Sarah for hacking and phone fraud. Then we see Siege just there, right? For uh, not, I don't think I, I see him again in the rest of the story. So I'm not sure what he was doing there, but he, they just kind of threw him in there. Then um, we go back to the dare, uh, back to the sewer. Daredevil and Electra are actually run across Morbius, who was questioning another resident of the sewers about where um, you know Eddie would have hidden this thing. Um, we see them fight a little bit with Morbius. They run him off, and she, he leaves fleeing. And then we see this nice touching moment where um, Daredevil and Electra are talking. And she's like, I just want peace. That's why I went to the mountain. I just want peace. And he's like, no, you don't want peace. You want passion. You want life. You want to feel alive again. 
and she falls into his arm and hugs him and he you know he kind of patting her now this panel I, I don't really like it I, I feel like he cut a picture of a real person's thigh and kind of pasted it in there um, it just feels unfinished I just I don't like this art I don't like that kind of stuff so we cut back to Karen and uh, Matt Murdock having a discussion another touching moment where the he kind of like I because I've been thinking about Derek uh, Electra Electra's made me realize how I feel about certain things is well I can never be Electra and she kind of rushes out but realizes oh, that's not what he meant and she comes back and they make up and he looks at her and he kisses her and he says it's always been you Karen uh, I've always loved you so and then that's it so they're back now he's back with Electra so he kisses Karen and back with Electra so Electra and him are in a railroad graveyard up this time, um, you know, like the subway graveyard, and they got all these train cars everywhere. It looks like everything's been pushed into a big pit. And Daredevil is able to find the virus um, down on the bottom underneath all the smoke. And just as they get it, everyone just shows up. Like almost, just almost everyone is there. Hellspawn's there, all the snake ninjas, Eddie Paz and Ken, General Ken, I mean, everybody's like there. And um, Hellspawn starts to change so so what so what happens here is Eddie and the fight ensues Eddie decides he's getting attacked and he decides to release his telepathy on this dude that's attacking him and that ninja gets wiped out and Eddie's brain kind of breaks and he dies um, Daredevil and Electra decide to use the virus on Hellspawn um, I'm not 100% sure why they just kind of they, they, they open it jammed it in his mouth um, now I think you know Daredevil could have used it on himself. They could have given it to more. They could have done a lot of things with this, but they jammed it in Hellspawn's mouth. I'm not 100 sure why, but he starts to change. He's actually physically changing in, into a human, and Evil Electra stabs him in the back, and, and that's just, that's just he dead, right? So now Eddie's dead. That ninja's dead. Now Hellspawn's dead. And in the middle of this, there's more battle. Everybody's shooting stuff, things blowing up, and things going on. Um, Evil Electra and Electra face off, and Evil Electra actually gets Electra in a chokehold type thing, and, and Electra's like, "Just throw the size through me, kill her. It's worth it. It needs to be done." So he's ah, throws him and closes, you know, kind of closes his eyes, but he blind throws him blah, like this, right? And just at the last minute, Electra flips Aaron over, grabs her like this. The side goes through like this. It stabs her through the heart, but it actually pierces into Electra's shoulder. And when that happens, all this essence of, you know, comes out of evil Electra and right through the hole in Electra. And she absorbs evil Electra into Electra. And she's laying there and Daredevil's holding her. And she's like, I can feel the evil Electra trying to take control. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so I don't know where that's going to go later in some other storyline, but that's pretty cool. So now we see Daredevil walk up to Hellspawn and he says, hey, he touches him, I gotta make a tough choice. And we see in a minute what that choice is. So we close out all of this with a story from Yurik, of Ben Yurik, which is really a eulogy for Matt. Matt's dead. And he condemns all those that ever attacked Matt's character. And we see pictures of Kingpin sitting with a pile of money and cigar. He just looks really happy about it. And we see Foggy. Fo uh, Foggy looks stunned. Karen's laying in a bed saying, I miss you, Matt, crying. And we see Garrett in a, in a shield holding cell. And we say, see Sarah getting arrested for hacking and phone fraud and stuff. And we, we end up with Matt walking in and talking to a nun. Now, he called her mom. Now, I'm, I don't know, is it is she really his mom? Or is that just something he says? I, I don't know. Let me know if you know. Um, then he takes his father's name, Jack. He said, I can't be Mur Matt Murdock anymore. Um, it's too dangerous right now, so I need another name. She goes, oh, I've always been partial to the name Jack, you know, fighting Jack here. So he takes uh, Jack's name, and the last panel we see Daredevil kind of flying through the air like he normally does, more more like falling through the air. But we do see that. It's pretty cool looking. So this was a great story, and re well worth the read. I mean, we have cyborgs, Yeti ninjas, regular ninjas, snake root ninjas, the hand um, we have the Shadow Warriors, we have Hellspawn, which is a demon, and we have, you know, just a vampire, and we have everything everywhere through the story. It's a, just a, a lot of different plot threads, a lot of different ways things are going, coming in and out of the story. It was very pretty, very cool. Now, the art did leave me a little, want, uh, it left me wanting something. You know, it's just, it, it was okay, and the fight scenes were pretty good, but it's just mm, not, not what I like. 
and especially when we get to close-in phases. Um, the close-in phases are pretty, except for that one panel. But all later. So the story was complicated. I like that. I like complicated. I like complicated plots. I like complicated characters. I like characters with flaws and with feelings and things don't always go go right for them, etc. And I enjoyed that a lot. I like that Daredevil didn't use that virus on himself because he could have probably used it and made himself see, you know, see again. That could have been interesting, but it kind of blows the whole idea of Daredevil, I would think. But overall, this whole story arc was a really good story arc. And now, um, I would definitely recommend, you know, this this run of Daredevil, pretty good. So, uh, if, if you enjoyed this review, um, please like and subscribe. Um, it really does go a long way to help this channel. And we will see you here next time in the long box.